Everyman Driver Nation, three words, machine gray metallic, followed by a booyah. Yeah, dog, look what we have here. Just arrived this week, 2018 Mazda 6, which comes in five trim levels. And this just being a first impressions, first walk around video, I don't have a lot of great details, but I know do know a couple of these trim levels are new. So you got the Sport Touring Grand Touring, Grand Touring Reserve, and this one right here, Signature. Write my name all over, baby, because this car is sweet. We got 19 inch wheels in ours. They have a 17 inch option on the sport trim level. Two engines available, two powertrains. We got a 2.5 liter, four cylinder, dual hover cam, dual overhead cam, enunciate. That's on the uh, sport and touring. We've got the uh, turbo, 2.5 liter turbo. This one, my friends, has uh, 227 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. So I know there are some new uh, changes to the outside as well as the inside, and I'm gonna work on that for the overall detailed review uh, coming up soon. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and do a quick walk around, show you inside and show you what I do know and tell you what I do know about this uh, beautiful driving machine. Isn't that gorgeous? I just, I just, uh, I can't get over the shape. How about, how about that shape of the Mazda 6? So let's go inside. We got the old uh, proximity key, so I'm gonna lock it here. Hi, how you doing? Uh, black button here, unlocks it, little flash. And here's something very cool about Mazda in 2018. I got an email from the uh, PR rep who said, now as a upgrade on the higher trim levels, on the higher trim levels, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Isn't that a beautiful sight? We got the eight inch screen here, and this is a touch screen when the car is stopped, but once it gets going, you have to control it down here. And it's been pretty easy, just uh, making my drive over to this location to do this video. Uh, it's easy to, to navigate with this down here, pretty simple. So the push button start, the car's already on. Uh, this being the signature trim level, all the bells and whistles, heated steering wheel, which we don't care about today, or heated seats, but we do love the ventilated seats, it shows 86 degrees, but it's been as high as 103 yesterday. I'm sure it's gonna get that warm again. So all of the controls there, different drive modes. We've got sport, we've got in normal. So I guess just two drive modes. This is where the USB port is, two of them. Bose sound system, soft uh, felt like surface here. Now this is interesting. That my friends is a digital instrument cluster in the center only, everything else is not analog, but you know, it's those are real, real levers, but that is all digital. They say it's a seven inch screen there in the center, I guess. Paddle shifters, cruise control, Bluetooth. We do have a heads up display, HUD as they call it, and this has road sign recognition, so it'll pop up what speed uh, zone you're in. There's also a lane departure warning, and the lines will show up also in that heads up display. I don't know if I mentioned front wheel drive in this car, and what else was there? Oh, six speed automatic, six speed manual, two options. This is the automatic. I think the manual is only in the sport trim level. We got these uh, Napa leather sport seats. Just a quick backseat legroom and headroom. You know, you open the car, only the front opens. You gotta double click it. There we go, there. Gotta be smarter than the key fob. Here we are, guy who's 5'11". There's my leg room behind the seat, and this was my position as the driver. Not, what is this? Oh, I thought this was a pull-out tray for a second. It looks like it could be. Uh, spot down there for your iPads, tablets, and so forth. We've got the, the sunshade here on ours. Looks like there's four O-blank handles. Fold-down armrest. Oh, heated seats options. You have to have that. Two more USB ports. Spot for keys. Don't want to lose those. And I believe these seats do come down. I think they're a 60-40. You know, it would be nice to have on a signature here, uh, sunshades to 
keep the back cool. Uh, it does have the latch system, and uh, I don't know if I'll just demonstrate that or not, but basically if you have a car seat, infant car seat, you got the lower anchors down here, and there's some tethering hooks up on top, or when you fold it down. Again, this is just the, the first look of the, of the car. All right, cargo room I do know is in the 14 cubic feet category. Yep, so you can pull these tabs to fold down the seats. So that's like 14 and a half cubic feet of cargo volume. Fold those downs, yep, 60, 40, you'll get more space. What do they have down here? Got anything? Oh, there's your spare tire, okay. Oh, I did see the numbers that this is uh, 33 to 3,500 pounds on its curb weight. Dual exhaust, sky active technology, of course. Some of that does look a little new to me in terms of the exterior stuff. Fuel economy, 26 city, 30 something highway. I think it's like 20, I don't remember exactly. But the fuel economy is in the upper 20s for mixed driving. So I'll drive, oh, is that grill new? It might be. I don't know, hey, just arrived. So we're just trying to figure this stuff out. All right, so I'll get a video for you about what's new with this car because they say it's re-engineered and refined for 2018. Hey, it's, what a classic look, right? I mean, that, nothing says Mazda like a Mazda 6 sedan. Four door. This turbo, just driving around, really accelerates. So 227 horsepower, 310 torque. Yeah, not too bad, right? All right, any comments below if you want. Uh, maybe I'll try to incorporate, incorporate those into the full review, but I'll be sure to do one for you on what's new for 2018 on this beautiful machine gray metallic 2018 Mazda 6. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you soon. Adios. Thank you.